Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can print a right triangle. I will show you the output first and then I will discuss the code with you. So here in this particular example, as you can see that I am accepting the height of the triangle. For example, if I want it to be six rows, and I want the character to be ampersand and as you can see this is a right triangle that I'm creating here. How do you get to do this? A right triangle that is right aligned. So this is the logic that I'm using. After I accept the height and the character from the user, I run my outer loop to generate as many rows as the height. So I start with the height which is six for example and then I will end at one. So I will end up printing six rows coming backwards. Every time I'm in the loop, I have a logic to generate space and not with a new line, without a new line. This logic is that starts with zero and it goes as long as the value of j is less than the difference of height and i. Now as I know that in the first iteration, the height and i are of the same value, so the difference is zero. So no space will be printed. That's as you can see over here in the output as well. I'll show you the output again just so that you can see. I enter six and let's say if I enter asterisk, there is no space to the left of the first row because the loop doesn't run. Now the second set of loop starts from i, which is again the highest value, which is height and it comes as far as the lowest value decrementing by one. So it prints as many stars in the first row as there are a number of elements, as there, I mean like as there are a number of stars. Now when it comes to the second row, as you notice that the i is now decremented by one, so it was six, now it is five. So now when the first inner loop runs, the difference is one between height and i, so one space gets to be printed. And then the next loop runs and displays five stars because the current value of i is five, and I have to come all the way to one in the decrement order, so it prints five stars. Then it produces a new line, a new line for the next uh, entry, goes back, now i is further decreased and becomes four, now the difference of height and 4 is 2, so it now prints two spaces, and that's how it comes all the way down. So hopefully this would have made sense to you if I remove this logic from here, just in case. Let me remove this logic and let me rerun the code. If I take out the spacing logic, now you will notice that uh, the output that it generates after it takes the height and the character, it now displays a left align right triangle coming downwards. Okay, If I want to start out, it's a decrementing, right? If I want to do an incrementing one, then instead of starting with height, and coming to one, I will come, I'll start with one and will come to height incrementing. So you can just play around with this just so that you understand how things are and you just play around with this code to produce different kinds of triangles. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.